Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark on our Interloper playthrough. This is episode 62, and uh, we are currently just outside the mysterious signal fire. Uh, we've, mount, we've found some shelter here. We made our shelter here in the cave. And now the question is, what are we going to do? Um, I think we're going to head out today. Let's grab it. Somebody said if we uh, eat, try to eat this moose meat from our inventory, it might work. So I'm going to try that. Let's see if... Yeah, hey, it does let us eat it. That's great. Um, yeah, because if you try to eat it on the ground, for some reason, it won't work because it's ruined. But in your inventory, for some reason, it does work. Okay. Um, I will take the cedar firewood. We'll leave the fir firewood for later, possibly. And then I can drop, maybe drop some sticks. Let's see what our stick situation is here. Let's just drop all those. Okay, we'll take five sticks. Okay, we are a bit heavy. It was nice. We're up to 31 coal. I think we came into this territory with uh, maybe like four or five coal. I can't quite remember how much coal we came with. Uh, it feels good to have a lot of coal, though. Okay, I'm going to see if we can drop anything before we head out of here. We're at 54.9 kilograms. And fortunately, we did get back up to 45 capacity with our uh, well-fed bonus. It feels good. We, we got the well-fed bonus back. I'm really glad about that. You know, I might leave a couple teas here for the future. Okay, everything else is... Oh yeah, we got the Mackinac. Probably is a bit on the heavy side. It's 1.5 kilograms. It kind of is a trophy though. The uh, the Mackinac jacket is uh, one of the more rare items in the game. Um, but I don't think it's going to be better than our any of our other jackets. Part of me just wants to harvest this up, guys. It, it, uh, it's probably not worth the, uh, the maintenance cost. Just, you know, just for a trophy. <sighs> I don't know. I got to think about that. Think about the Mackinac jacket. Okay. In the meantime, let's check our other clothing items. They look okay as far as weight goes. Now we do have almost four kilograms of water. Um, let's see how thirsty we are. Actually doing okay for thirst. So I'm going to drop some of these. Let's drop two liters. Hey, we did get the heavy hammer. That will, that actually would be kind of nice to use to harvest up our acorns. And I can, uh, we're kind of finished with Hushed River Valley. I mean, there's still a lot left to explore, but I, my goal on this episode, I, I'd really like to just make my way out of Hushed River Valley. We've hit a lot of the major, the major locations. Okay, now these acorns. I'm curious if I can use the heavy hammer. Uh, oh, you got to cook them. See, I don't know how to cook these. Maybe I have to actually select the fire with them. I don't know. I need to, I need to pay better attention to that. Next time we have a fire, we can try to figure out what we're going to do with the acorns. All right, let's head out of here. We're going to make our way up back to the uh, the cave we left in the previous episode. It's the uh, it's the ice cave where we uh, we killed Sketchy. And we also left a bunch of goods there. I can't remember all the things we left. But there are some loot items we want to pick up on our way out of here. And hopefully the cave is not that far away because the temperature is dropping very quickly here. So I'm hoping to get up there before we get very cold. I 
I don't think there's any predators up on, on this elevation. But, uh, I will get out our bow and arrow just in case. Looks like we might have a bridge up there. It's quite a ways up though. Alright, we'll take a we'll take a stick. We are getting cold so fast. Gotta warm up somehow. I think we're getting close though. Is it up by the trees? I think it might be. Wouldn't be here, would it? We'll put a little bit of quickness in our step. Yeah, we got the wind right in our face now. Okay, I think that might be the cave straight ahead. time of day is it? Still a little bit early in the morning. Well, we got colder than I expected. Looks like we've already looted these. Okay, I think I see the cave. Get inside and get warm. All right. Let's see what we left behind. Looks like we got the saplings and the deer pelt. I do have my own saplings. We picked up four saplings over by the mysterious signal fire. So we could drop those. Okay, while we are warming up here, we can kind of figure out what we're going to do. So, do I want to repair anything or craft anything? Let's check our clothing. You know, we did leave a bear hide curing um, just inside the return cave as we're leaving the Hushed River Valley. And I wonder how close to being completed it is. We gotta get our pants and shoes, pants and boots. We gotta get those fixed up sometime here pretty quick. Okay, I think I'm gonna repair the long johns. Back up to 100%. Then I'll wait. Uh, I'll wait for these to get around 70%. Mackinac jacket. Now, it probably is a lot more lightweight. Let's see how much it costs to fix this. Two cloth, and it should bring it up a fair amount. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'd like to see what this looks like when it's all fully repaired. So we're back up to 59%. Let's get a drink. Sounds like we do have a storm coming in. How much cloth do we have? We're at uh, four cloth. Okay, I think I will, hmm, do, do I want to bring the Mackinac back with us? You know, I, I probably will. We'll bring it back to the cave. We at least got it back up to 60%. I kind of hate to 
get down so low on our cloth. Um, but unfortunately, it sounds like we did just get a uh, blizzard. Just got a blister and blew in here. I'm trying to think if we need to explore anywhere else in this cave. Was there anything else we, uh, we still need to... Oh, you know what? I could read. That's right. I could read and wait for the storm to pass. I think I will do that. Let's read for an hour. Okay. Let's try another hour. Kind of sounded like it let up for a minute there. Let's check outside. Oh, well, I can still hear it, but maybe it let up a little bit. No, it's still going pretty strong. I thought I saw some more rose hips out here, but maybe that was all. We've already looted all these, right? crazy how fast we get cold. I mean, just this little tiny trip outside the entrance, we are freezing cold already. And we're taking damage. Do I, if I don't warm up soon. All right, we'll head back inside. Oh, there are some more right here. See if we can get back up to 144 rose hips. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't want to get. I don't want to carry 144 rose hips. But it's crazy how if you just harvest those, like, or if you uh, if you craft them into the tea, they get so much lighter. It's just crazy. All right. Let's. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that now. Get a drink. We might be able to head out. I think. Uh, I think the uh, the wind let up there. Let's just take a peek. Okay, that looks so much better. Let's grab our gear, and I think we can head out. Okay, we are going to be a bit on the heavy side, so I've got a lot of gear we're trying to carry out of here. I don't think there's any predators up here, but we'll keep our bow out, just in case. Got some crows.
Looks like the sun's coming out. Grab some mushrooms. We really did get a lot of loot. I think most of it was uh, just natural resources, though, coming through the Hush River Valley. Now we we also got some matches, which is really good. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that away for now. It's actually turning out to be a pretty nice day. Is that a carcass up there? What is that? Might just be a rock. I think it is. No, it's a tree. Okay. Yeah, temperature is actually really nice. We're just so barely cold that our meter is just almost not even going down. Okay, we maybe have a dead end here. Oh, okay. Looks like I'll have to get a fire started here. Let's see if we can make our way through here. Looks like it's pretty sheltered. Yeah, we got we got some wind protection here. Let's uh, see if we can get a fire started with our mag lens. Come on, little fire. We can get some water cooking. It's going to take us like 20 minutes to uh, break down this barrier. Okay. Doesn't matter which one I harvest. Guess we'll do this one. 23 minutes. Okay, nice. with this it's a pretty good torch you know I should probably warm up some tea I don't know what what's ahead of us here let's drop a couple of these Looks like our torch might blow out once we walk ahead over there. See how long our torch lasts. I 
Did I miss something over here? I think we got everything. Okay. I think I see a cave over there. I think that is our, I think that's the entrance cave, guys. Okay, I recognize this. So we'll check out what's ahead over here. Now what is that up there? I Is that a man-made structure? Don't know what that is. Wonder if we're heading up that way. Does it does it end up up there? You know, it'd be nice if I could throw things down off the cliff here for us to pick up later, you know, like drop like uh, some of the hides, some of the equipment, like the heavy hammer. Okay, we got another cave. Okay, now what is, is this just like a dead end here? Let's go inside the cave. Lonely cave. We do have lots of firewood. We could uh, get a fire started. Huh. What have we here? Got some food. 12% sardines. And 0% tomato soup. You know, I had sardines for lunch today. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Yeah, I had some sardines and crackers. It's actually pretty good. I like I like fish sometimes. Uh, it's not for everybody, and I know it can uh, can be a little smelly, uh, which I regret. You know, I don't I don't like that part of eating fish. Just sometimes it does smell. But I tell you what, those uh, sardines with crackers or toast. You know, the British really like their sardines. Uh, they eat them in the brec for breakfast, you know, like with toast, I think. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. I uh, don't think I would eat sardines that are 12% condition, though. Don't think that's an, Come on, little fire. on my to-do list. All right, let's get some fire firewood on here. Uh, I don't really need to make a fire, but uh, I kind of want to keep looking around. And our, you know, there's all this free firewood here. Are these cedar? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna leave these here. I'd like to explore a little bit more. We'll come back to our fire. Let's see what's over here. Oh! Got some kind of plane wreckage or something? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. Actually, really like that. I'm gonna put my torch down. See if I can get a decent view of that. Might be a thumbnail picture with a big warming up right in the middle of my thumbnail picture. <laughs> That's the way it goes. All right, we got a little bit of loot behind it. Okay, that should be enough. It does look really cool though. They did a nice job with that. 
Oh, you can enter it. Oh, that is cool. So, the last thing the pilots saw, I guess. Uh, is there any loot in here? Let's see if we can get in the back, maybe? Oh, there's a hatch. Okay. Um, can I... Whoa! I was going to say, can I get in the back and search? Looks like we got a front seat and a back seat. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. We got two hatches. All right. I think I can use this. I'll take that for for cloth. Oh, hey, hockey jersey. 79%. I think that's really good. I think that's actually a really good find. And here's the captain. Man. All right, let's see if he has anything. And we've got a very beautiful view. All right, well, I want to get back up to the cave and we'll check out this hockey jersey. Anything down here? So, is that hockey jersey always uh, at this location, or is that like a random, random spawn? I might have just got lucky there. Okay, let's see how much time we got. 39 minutes. Let's uh, let's add some fuel here. Okay, and let's see what this hockey jersey has. Uh, I think we can swap these out. Yeah. Okay, so let's compare stats here. Of course, I should uh, I should get this up to 100% condition. It looks like they're pretty comparable. Okay, as far as warmth goes. Now, now I'm going to look at the wind protection. we got 2.4 here and only 0 0.4 there. 15% on the waterproofness. 20 on that one. And 3 on the protection. And that one had 2. And speed reduction is 0 and 0. So I think, I think the hockey jersey is probably better. Let's put it on the outside. And just for fun, let's have a look. There you go. It goes with her hat. Northern Ice Hockey. Nice. Okay, um, I would like to fix that up. Maybe when we get in inside... Uh, I don't know. I'll fix it up at some point. Probably. Um, campfire. Is there anything we need to cook here? I could drop a tea. Cook some uh, mushrooms and some uh, some rose hips. Okay, did I miss anything in the cave? I think we already checked it out, right? Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. <gasps> oh, we're hungry. Thank you, Astrid. I need to pay attention to that. Alright, what are we doing as far as food? We do have the sketchy food, sketchy cans here. So 
So we'll eat the. Uh, looks like we'll eat the tomato soup. We could drop it as well. Uh, we do have the can opener, right? Let's just open that up. Pretty sure we have the can opener. I think I remember us picking that up. Did I drop the can opener? I don't know, it's probably right in front of me. I just can't see it. Sorting alphabetically. Um, I thought we had it. I don't see it. I wonder if I dropped it somewhere. Or it could be right in front of me. <laughs> that happens a lot, too. Okay, let's eat our rusty tomato soup. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Let's pick that up. Okay, I think I will take these down. Just We're going to end up dropping down anyway super heavy now but I'll take these into the cave uh, transition cave right up here let's see if we can drop down okay this is where we want to go down there I think we can actually make it Alright, I'm going to go for it, guys. I might get a sprain here. And what is all that loot? Is that a campfire? Or is that loot that I dropped? What is that? We should have a safe, uh, safe drop right here. like a campfire. Okay. And it is getting late. It's actually really good timing. We're uh, making it to the cave just as it's getting dark and storms coming in. This should be our transition cave. That uh, hopefully is going to take us out of the Hushed River Valley. Let's see, and this is going to take us if we if we go through the cave. I'm trying to think it. We're going to come out. Pretty close to those trailers um, in Mountain Town, right? That's where we that's where we came in. Seems like a long time ago. I think time passes so much more slowly here in the Hush River Valley. Things are just spread out, and it just seems to uh, time just seems to go much slower for some reason here. Okay, let's check on our bear hide. 74% cured. Got a big pile of coal we left behind before. Um, I better get a fire started before our torch goes out. You know, I'm, I'll get a new uh, get a new torch just in case. And I'll start a fire. May as well. Come on, little fire. Okay, let's get some fuel on here. You know, I could put a fur 
Let's put a fur firewood on there. Two hours, 45 minutes. Nice, we got some cured guts. And rabbit pelts. Hey, we got some meat! It's all cooked. Oh, and Astrid's so hungry. She's going to be so happy. All right, Astrid, here you go. Let's get some meat. Ruined bear meat. Oh, wait. It's ruined. So now i got to eat it from my inventory, right? It's not going to let me eat it from the ground. So we're going to go into our inventory here. Ruined bear meat. Delicious. She's just a picky eater. She doesn't want to eat it off the ground. You gotta pick it up for her. Let's eat a little bit more. Okay, that filled us up. Okay, how's our rabbit mittens? 90% um, Trying to think what we want to do. Do we want to spend the night here? I probably do. Let's check the time. I might want to make our way to the other end of the cave. Um, we could bring all this stuff with us. Cure guts, meat. It's going to be a little bit slow going. I'll leave uh, a bunch of the water here. We don't really need to bring all that. But we can bring all this other loot with us. Uh, yeah, let's get you a drink. Okay, nice. I think I will head uh, outside just to take one last look around. Say goodbye to the Hushed River Valley. and uh, But more especially, I just want to save the video, save my game. Just in case, uh, you know, the computer crashes. So. Oh, wow. Kind of, kind of a transition here between a storm and a clear sky and sunset all at once. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, it looks like the storm is winning, though. The stars have disappeared once again. Yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like we're in for a storm tonight. Okay, so how much time do we want to spend here? Is the question. We've got two hours on the campfire. I uh, don't really have anything to cook. So I might just press on through. Um, Yeah, we got plenty of water. I think I'm just going to press on through, guys. Let's pick up all of our loot. You know, I may as well get the good torches and we'll drop the rest. Looks like there's no good torches. These are all pretty bad. That one's okay. And I think we got maybe one usable torch out of that. So I'm gonna, let's make a pile of our torches. Oh, we already have a pile, okay. I'm going to drop all the really bad torches over here. Okay, then we can drop some of the... Uh, oh! Is that the lit one? Okay. And then we'll drop uh, some of the okay ones over here.
That's probably good right there. Okay. Alright, let's uh, load up on our loot. We're going to be a bit on the slow side. Uh, but that's okay. We're just going to the end of the tunnel, the other end here, or the end of the cave. Well, I'm really happy about all that coal. Oh man, we are super heavy. How are we doing for water? Yeah, I don't need any more water. Okay. Um, firewood. Do we want to drop? We could drop the cedar firewood. We'll keep one of them. Look at all the matches we have. 32 matches. Oh, that is nice. Man, we are so heavy. Uh, I might want to. <laughs> Gosh, we're moving so slowly. Maybe I'll speed this up so you, don't, you guys don't have to watch me walk all the way through the tunnel. Um, so I'll meet you at the other end of the tunnel. Oh! Hey! hey, hey. Alright. You guys gotta see this. We have a floating campfire in the middle of the cave here. And just for fun, I might want to get that started. have a levitating campfire guys and nothing unusual about that I think it's worth starting just hope I don't crash my game here All right. here we go Kind of nice. Uh, might put out my torch here. Let's add just a little bit of fuel. Yeah, all right. Let's put out our torch. We can uh, have a nice little view of our campfire here. We get warm underneath it. That is the very first floating campfire I think I've ever encountered ever anywhere you know you just don't see that every day <sighs> all right let's get a you know let's take a torch from it sure why not we'll take a torch <laughs> all right well see you later campfire Guys, we have made it to the other end of the cave, and it's actually just right here by the levitating campfire. Um, I'm going to drop all of our stuff that needs to cure. Those are cured, that's fresh, and we've got a bunch of saplings. Okay. Now what time is it? Ooh, it is getting pretty late. Don't think we need to make another levitating campfire. We could just put our bedroll down. That is not our bedroll. That is our bedroll. Okay, uh, we do have just a tiny bit of time before I'd like to sleep. You know, I think I'll let the torch go out. I think I will. I would like to harvest those acorns, though. Um, maybe we'll use the levitating campfire to uh, craft up some... You know, that may not be a good idea. 
actually, as I talk about it. Um, because I can't really reach what's on top, like putting pots and pans and stuff on there. It's a little, it's levitating just a little bit too high for me to make real proper use of it. So I will make a new campfire over here. Yeah, I'd kind of like to Come lighten on. up, Come you know, on. our uh, our weight capacity here. So if I could harvest some of these acorns somehow. Now, how much time is on there? An hour and 26. Okay. Um, crafting. How in the heck do I do this? Do I have to put down the pot? Maybe that's it. Let's try the pot and then cook. Can we cook our acorns in here? I don't know. Pick up water. Do I have to put water in it? Place. Maybe we place the acorns on there? I've just never done this, guys. I don't know what we do with these acorns. Add fuel, place water, crafting. Somehow we have to cook the acorns, and I have no idea how this is going to work. I guess we'll, we'll put some water on. Um, I don't think that's the answer either. I really don't know what to do with these acorns. Acorn grounds. We need cooked acorns. How in the heck are we going to cook these acorns? Do we, maybe we need the like the uh, the skillet or something. I bet that's it. Maybe we have to put the acorns in the skillet. You know, I bet that's it, guys. So I just don't have the skillet, so I can't really can't really cook the acorns. I'm I'm hoping that's what it is because I really can't see any other option. And uh, if you know the answer, let me know. I think I think it is the skill though because we've tried everything else. Okay, so in the meantime, let's see if I can craft up anything. Do we have any? Yeah, we got some rose hips. All right, let's craft these up. We're just waiting for the time to pass so I can go to sleep about midnight. It's probably the best time. Yeah, let's cook some more water. Why not? Okay, fire's going out. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. And that's fine. We'll let the fire go out. Okay, now, where is my bedroll? Should be like right here. Let's, uh, let's turn on our lantern. Okay, right behind us. There it is. Okay, we'll put that out. We'll get a drink. Oop, that was the wrong thing to drink. <laughs> I was clicking too fast there. I clicked on a tea. I may as well just finish it up now. Which tea was that? Um... Looking at the weight here, that's probably this one, 0 0.07. All the others are 0 0.1. All right, we'll finish this one. And then we can just drink regular water now. All right, guys, I will see you in the morning. Hopefully we get nice weather so we can continue exploring. And uh, when we wake up, we're going to be exiting into Mountain Town, uh, which should provide us with plenty of opportunities for exploration. Okay, let's pick that up. And uh, I probably want to drop... Do I, actually, no, I don't want to drop anything. And here's why. I want to take all of our junk 
over to the uh, the trailer and uh, we can draw hey levitating campfire you're still with us all right welcome uh, how's it going see anything strange lately okay um, we're gonna take all of our stuff over to the the trailer because it's kind of right on whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Uh, it's kind of right on the path of where we want to travel. Oh man, we are so, so slow. It's almost painfully slow. It is painfully slow. Um, shoot. Alright, well, let's exit here. In that case, I may want to drop some stuff. Man, we're just moving so slow. Let's see how far away the trailer is. I might be able to just kind of tiptoe over to the trailer. But, you know, this is a good problem to have. We are so heavy with loot. It's kind of like the monkey trap. You don't, have you ever heard of the monkey trap where you, you like, put... Uh, you have, like, a box with a hole just big enough for a monkey's fist. And then inside the hole, you, you put something like a nut or a banana or something. And the monkey refuses to... He'll stick his hand in the box, and he refuses to let go. And you can just walk right up and... You know, grab the monkey and catch the monkey because they will they will just not let go. Um, and that is us. I have all this loot, and I'm not willing to let go of it. You know, I probably should drop it and do it in trips. Let's see over this hill if the trailer's right there. Then we'll just go for it. If the trailer's not right there, then I'll just drop a bunch of stuff. And we'll we'll do it in like two different trips. Yeah, I don't see the trailer. Okay, so I'm going to drop... Let's drop a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I'll take the bear hide. We're going to drop everything else. We're coming back for it, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just going to come back for it. I just want to get light enough that we can move a little quicker. I can hear a wolf up ahead. Okay, I'm not going to grab it. You're tempting me. Alright, I'm going to grab it. Won't grab you though. I'm going to walk away. I see you. Okay, so I think the main road is over here somewhere. Which is, we will be taking the main road. At some point. Oh no, now we got we got the wind at our face now. You know, I was sure the uh, trailer was just like right here. Oh, here's the main road. Okay. Here's the main road. Or maybe this connects to the main road. I don't know. Wait. so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Okay, here's... The, okay, I got it now. It branches off. We got the trailer up there. And we're cold. Anyway, let's go drop off our heavy hammer, our bear coat, or not bear coat, bear hide, and a bunch of other stuff. And that wind is right in our face. I can't remember what we dropped off in the trailer. It seemed like we left some things behind. Side. See what we left here. What did I leave here? A lantern. I forgot there's a crafting workbench here. We got uh, a fuse and a cured maple sapling. Okay. 
Okay, let's drop this bear hide first thing. Um, cured guts. I'm going to drop some of those as well. Let's just drop all of them for now. Um, all these acorns. Man, I wish I knew what to do with these. So I can't really do anything with the crafting table, can I? No, okay. I'm going to put all the acorns in the drawer. Until I figure out what to do. Oh my gosh, we were carrying that meat this whole time. Oh, I, <laughs> I forgot about the meat. That's funny. Not really. It, it's funny, but it's not funny. Um, okay, I'm going to eat. May as well eat it. We risked our life for it. We may as well eat it. Honey. And we're thirsty. Okay, I'm going to end up putting this meat outside. Uh, let's see what else. We could probably drop the canned food. Drop that as well. We're down to 12 cattails. I think we have a bunch of burdock though. Let's put the heavy hammer up here. Okay, what else? Did we... We left one of the hacksaws behind, didn't we? Yeah, that's fine. We don't need lots of hacksaws. I'm going to drop a whetstone here. Feels good to be lightweight again. Let's refuel this. And by lightweight, I, I don't actually mean we're lightweight. I mean, I can actually move. <laughs> like, it feels good to actually be able to move. Okay, what else can I leave here? Oh, yeah, we don't don't need this. I don't even know why I brought that. And I don't really need the accelerant. Okay, boy, this mag lens has been so good to us. Still at 93%. Ooh, we got 47 coal, guys. Okay, I'm going to drop this as a stash here. Uh, we will be coming back this way. I'll take five pieces of coal. Oh, that feels so good. Look, I can move. <sighs> feels so good. Okay. We're lightweight again. That's wonderful. Um, you know, I'm going to drop a T here. May as well just leave a T for ourselves. Oh no, I hear the uh, storm. I hear the storm. And we do have our hockey jersey. Oh, we brought the Mackinac. That's right, we can finally drop our Mackinac. Although I probably should put it somewhere safe. Let's put it inside the drawer with our acorns. And make it smell really nice, I bet. It's 59%. I'm still not sure if I want to fix that or not. If I want to upgrade that. Okay. Oh, I hauled the uh, scarf all this way. We don't need that. Let's get a piece of cloth out of that. Okay, and we got our thin wool sweater. Let's put this in with the Mackinac, if it'll fit. So 86, 89, all right, let's see if it will fit. It did fit, okay. You know, I always like the smell of cedar. You know, if you, if you put things in a cedar chest, I really like the way that smells. So hopefully uh, those acorns will make the uh, clothing smell pretty nice as well okay we do have our meat we need to drop did I bring two two of those or just one I thought I brought two of them 
Didn't I pick? Didn't I pick up another pry bar? No, I guess not. Okay, man, we have a lot of sewing kits. I'm gonna drop one here. Low condition, but usable. Drop that here. And oh, man, I need to sharpen these up at some point. If the weather's too bad to travel, then I'm going to, we'll, we'll just spend some time in here. I'll get the, the blades sharpened up and possibly do some repairs. Let's take a look at the weather. It's actually not too bad. I, I want to go get our stuff. And the wind has actually changed direction. It knew that we were going to backtrack. So the wind is back in our face. Oh, hey, hey guys, I almost did it. I almost walked away with the meat. I remember just in time. Okay, let's leave the meat here. You guys stay. Stay. I'm trying to get me killed, I tell you. Don't need to use a restroom master. Come on, let's go. I think in a previous playthrough I got a bear like coming through here there was a bear I think we maybe it was farther up I, I, I seem to remember a bear and we took him out and the wind is right in our face again Here's all our loot. Didn't seem that far away. <laughs> now that we can actually move. Okay. We good? We're good. Let's go drop off our stuff. Got some trees over there we could we could check out. Maybe some uh, oak trees. Is that what that was? Okay. Well, um, I was just thinking, guys. I I hope to find as we continue looting. I really would like to replace the flare that I used. I used two flares. I accidentally lit one while we were searching a car. I opened a glove box and ooh, I heard a ptarmigan. It's a goddamn freezing. I think I just heard ptarmigans, guys. Alright, where are you guys? There they are. Um, yeah, so I accidentally clicked on the glove box while I was holding a, a no, what, it like, yeah, I was holding it, an unlit flare, and, uh, of course, it, ac it actually used the flare, unfortunately. All right, we can get pretty close now that we're crouched. Yeah, I missed that one. Whoa, I came down. Okay, I got one. Got two. Got three. Got four. Nice. Ha oh, ha. Crouching is so nice. And the little uh, r little white dot receptacle in the center of the screen really helps out. Okay, nice. We got some food. Kind of getting tired of eating rancid meat, so it's nice to get some fresh meat. 
Just seeing if we already plucked all the uh, rose hips off of those bushes. Looks like we did. Okay, let's head inside, get warmed up. Okay, let's put those away. And I got a lot of stuff to drop. So let's drop our ptarmigans over here. And we'll put our saplings over here. Let's see, where are you guys? There we go. Oops. Too many clicks. There we go. Now, are we carrying three like... No, just two. Okay. Alright, we'll let those cure. Um, we can drop our deer hide as well. Get that curing. We can drop one of the rabbit pelts. I'll keep one of them. And I might want to pick up one of the, uh, one of the guts. There we go. Got too many tin cans. You know, I could craft up another arrowhead while we're here. Might not be a bad idea. Cured maple sapling, but uh, I don't. I don't think I have any cured birch saplings. Uh, let's harvest this up. We still have plenty of daylight if the weather would cooperate. Yeah, so I, I gotta craft up an arrow shaft before we can make another arrow. Okay. Well, we got the ptarmigans. Uh, I want the meat at least. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the meat off of these guys. You know, I'll just do it by hand because we got to wait for the storm to pass anyway. And I think I saw a burn, bar uh, burn barrel outside. We could actually cook these up later. Okay. I'd eat snow Let's check on the weather. Wouldn't kill me. Oh, it's actually not too bad. I was totally expecting it to be uh, stormy, but I think it's just windy. Now, what is this guy? Or these these uh, birds are over something. Did we already check this guy? I think we did. I think we did find a guy right there. Okay, guys. In this kit, in that case, um, the weather is so nice. Um, I want to start a fire. I, could, I guess I could just do it right here. Huh? Our burn barrel. Let's start a fire with a mag lens. And I don't want to linger here very long. I want to head up to the on, plane wreck. I want to try to check that out. See if we can get there in this episode. I don't want to spend a lot of time here, but I might just cook up a piece of meat or something. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Um, I'm just going to cook up some tea, and then we'll head out. So let's do that. Yeah, let's cook up some tea. The weather is so nice. And we can we can head out of here. 
Um, what was I checking my inventory for? Oh, water. I was going to see how much water we have. So we have 1.77 liters. That's not too bad. I think we're okay to travel with that. Okay, I'm gonna leave that can here cooking. And I'll grab this other empty can. And you know I'll take I'll take some dog food. And then let's head out for the uh, let's head out for the open road. We're gonna try to get to the plane wreck, I think. Um so we got Eight minutes there, 20 minutes. You know, I'm, I think that should be fine. We'll just let that do its thing. Cedar firewood. I'm going to take it. Okay, guys. Now let's head back to the road. Feels so good to be lightweight. Make sure I'm not smelly. Okay. Don't have any decoys. We are moving so nice and quick. I'm going to venture over here. We're kind of heading this way anyway. I want to see if there's any acorns or... Uh, I don't know, birch bark maybe? I don't really see any birch trees. These birch. Got some crows over there. Okay, we got some kind of pond. Gotta keep an eye out for wolves. Do we have any acorns? Don't see any. Sounds like a waterfall. Oh, hey, we got some saplings. Got a lot of saplings. You know, I almost think now that the, uh, the addition of the fire hardened arrows is kind of overpowered, OP. You know, it kind of makes it a little easy to get these these guys and level up archery. I don't know. What do you think? Of course, that's not what my uh, feeling was when I first started archery. So it's taken me a little bit of time to get where I feel comfortable. But it kind of feels like having a gun in the game, you know? There's our Harry Potter roots right there. Got some more burdock. You know, really, I should be grabbing some more cattails. Did I pass up some? I probably did. As uh, so we are down to 12 cattails. Okay, we'll leave the other ones. If I if I passed up some, that's fine.
Okay, I want to keep my eye out for the bear. Oh, and we got a wolf. Hey, wolf. Would you like to come along with us, wolf? Don't particularly feel like scaring you. You know what, Wolf? I am lightweight. And so I'm just going to charge you. It feels really good to be able to do that. Got a vehicle over here. This is a cave. Okay, I think I remember this cave. Just like a real shallow one. Okay, we got a dead guy here. Man. Might have to get a fire going again just to get some torches. Nothing. Okay, let's start a fire here, just so we can get some torches. Come on, little fire. All right, we got some okay torches, I think, out of that. Yeah, that's about it, okay. Time of day, see it is getting late. Weather is still holding out pretty well. Okay, we got a deer up ahead. I think the weather's been really nice, actually. We're not even cold. Okay, I'm trying to be cautious, just in case the bear's here. And 
what is over here? We've got some kind of path going down and a road going that way. I don't know if I want to go down there. Let's see if I can take a peek what is going on. We've got a bridge going that way. Okay, for now I'm going to stick to the road. And of course we could always come back and... Whoa, there's the bear. There's the bear right in front of us. Okie dokie. Well, I just about walked right into a bear, guys. He's coming right for us. Doesn't see us yet. I'd really like him to actually kind of chase me. There you go. Come on over, bear. Here we go. Hey, 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 we got the bear. We got the bear. Right here by the fire. We got the bear. Let's take our uh, arrow. Sorry about that. Wow. Okay. I uh, was not expecting to actually harvest and get a bear. How do we want to do this? What is down here? Is there a cave? Spruce Falls Bridge. Don't know if there's a cave or anything like that. Um, do we want to quarter him? How much time is on here? An hour and 21 minutes. All right, let's see what I can do. It's nice the weather's warm. Um, I kind of think I better quarter him, guys. Two hours. Let's use our hacksaw. Um, I'll do it in two parts, I think. So we'll do one part here. Cancel and then let's. Uh... Oh! I thought I'd be able to get something out of that. Let's see, that's some sticks, I guess. Okay, we got another hour and 43 minutes. Let's try this again. Let's get a drink. Let's try this again. Alright, let's finish quartering him. 55 minutes. Nice. Okay. Ah, oh, man, we're so heavy. It's probably not the best place for a fire. God, I'd eat anything right about now. Um, let's eat some food. Harvest this. 36 minutes. Alright, let's go for it. Okay. Okay, 50 minutes to, uh, no, 35 minutes to cook. All right, let's see. Let's sort by weight here. These are all about the same. Could use coal, I suppose. Um, although we don't really have to cook everything up. Could just even just leave the meat here. Might just cook up enough so we have food, and we'll leave the rest of the meat raw, perhaps. Although you know, I do need to, yeah, I do need to harvest up the quarters. That's right. Okay. Let's add a coal on here. So we got two hours. Don't 
don't want to lose our well fed. One minute. Don't tell me that was raw. Did I just eat a raw meat? That's good. Okay, good. <laughs> I clicked on it and she started eating it. So I think she was just so hungry. She's like waiting for the second when that was finished. And that one's four minutes. All right, you can eat up, Astrid. Go ahead. You can even get thirsty. That's fine. Okay, we got plenty of meat here. 39 minutes. Let's get some more food over here. Three more bags. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, okay. Alright guys, well I have one concern, and that is that my video is getting kind of to the point where my computer might crash. So that might be a problem. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Is that it? I think we got everything. Oh, there's guts under there, okay. Well, let's leave... Let's leave the guts. Bring the meat over here. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think I'm just going to try to hurry and get through this. So we got 24 minutes. Let's just keep going. And the weather's changing, of course. Weather's changing. Fortunately, we still have... Nope, oh, I spoke too soon. Just that quick, the fire's going out. Okay. That's all it took. Okay, well, this is a little bit of a problem now. At least we don't have an aurora. Um, how do we want to do this? Torch is just going to go out. Let's pick up our pot. I'm going to look down here, guys. Let's see if we can find a cave. Do we have a cave? Oh, there goes my torch. What is down here? Don't think we have a cave. I can't see one. Okay, I don't have a flare. I don't really have a way to scare away the wolf. I'm gonna head for the car. Let's drop, you know, I'm gonna drop that. Can we harvest up a bag of meat in the car? It's getting too heavy to carry. That is the question. And are we warm? If we stay in the in the car? Are we warm? Probably not. We got three chevrons going down on our temperature here. Okay, now we only have one chevron going down. All right, I'm going to drop the meat outside the car. Let's head inside. And I'm going to sleep for one hour. 
feels like negative three. I'm going to sleep for an hour to save our game and save my video and then figure out what we're going to do from there. Let's try it. Nice, we actually warmed up. Now it is still pretty windy. Okay guys, I think this is a great place to call it an episode. We've got uh, kind of a predicament. I'm stuck in a vehicle surrounded by meat. We do have wolves all around us. I can't light a torch and I don't have a flare. So I may just wanna get my butt back to safety. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We could leave the meat out here obviously, but. At any rate, guys, thanks for coming along with me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we made our way out of Hushed River Valley. We saw the levitating... Oh. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming along with me. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video this episode. If you did, as always, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, thumbs up always is very much appreciated. And, of course, if you want to, uh, please feel free to subscribe and get lots of great uh, videos all the time coming out. And uh, it really helps out the channel to, uh, to grow. So, anyway, thanks, guys. Thanks for coming along with me. And I will catch you in the next episode. Take care.